Hi friends, hope everyone's doing great. Um, I just had a few thoughts today, um, especially after my first chemo treatment that, you know, Western medicine really only treats the physical body. Um, and so I think it's part of our, um, it's, it's something that we need to think about and take into consideration and take ownership of healing and other aspects of our life. So since basically they only treat uh, the physical body, it's our responsibility to find ways to help um, treat our mental, emotional, spiritual body as well. And um, so um, other people can help with that. I mean, don't feel like it's all on you, but it is, um, it is up to you what feels right to your soul so you need to listen to your intuition your in uh, you know the inside of your heart what it do, does it tell you if something is good for you you're going to know it if something is is a little off then you know that that's also your uh intuition telling you something that you need to maybe steer clear of so um, I wanted to show you guys some some things in my room uh, maybe a little bit about my routine what really helps me um, so, uh, number one, let's just come over here. So basically, this is what I see whenever I wake up. And honestly, we all need to have at least one area of our room that's like a nice clean area. Um, I don't know if you could see behind me though, but I have like, oh, there's my laundry and all that kind of fun stuff. But half of my room is spotless, I swear. But uh, let me just bring you over here. Um, one thing that's been really helping me in my own like healing journey is really being able to lean on my own uh, heritage. I am Native American, I'm Mexican, Punjabi, um, Dutch and French, but uh, what's been really helping me mostly is um, uh, the Native side, our Indigenous Native side, and also the Mexican side. Um, I just feel like there's so much um, that, that I get from reading and um, uh, painting and things like that. So over here, kind of flip this around. Maybe I can't. I'll just go like this. You could see my painting I did of uh, the Virgin Mary. That one really is. Uh, it's a good one. I really love it. The colors are bright. I love. I dress mostly in black, but I honestly love bright colors. So my room is really full of colors. Um, down here, can we see uh, these two? Oh, there we go. So these are two really special dolls. They actually, um, I read the story about them after I got home with them. Got these at um, a native shop in Berlin, Washington. Um, they basically said they are the ones who pick out their owners before the owners even know it. And it really brought tears to my eyes because when I went into the shop, it, they were both calling me so hard. I was like, something, something's up with these dolls. I need to get them. And um, they've they really bring me some happiness. So another thing here, we have like a little medicine wheel, which is good. This is also about not just the physical, but emotional, mental, spiritual um, healing as well. This other bright painting my friend Mike Poodle made for me many years ago after I left my hometown. <clears throat> and let's see here, we have this beautiful ore. This is such a gorgeous piece here. Um, Natives actually use this in dancing, um, but I just think how gorgeous it is um, to hang on the wall to see every day. And I think some of you have seen this in my house before. This is um, this one's actually called the Confused Madonna. It was painted in 1994 um, by my grandma's friend's son. He actually learned how to paint while he was incarcerated, but um, it's beautiful. And um, down here. Got the heart with the wings, nice big mirror. Um, but the, um, I want to show you sort of like, um, I don't want to call it an altar, but sort of it is. So here up at the top, we've got, oh, first of all, up here, <laughs> I love this. My friend Ange uh, gave me this as a going away, and I absolutely adore it. It's so gorgeous. I have an eagle feather down here my mother gave me. Um, we have a Virgin Mary candle. There's my Mexican side coming out. <laughs> um, this is um, 
a beaded cross by the Weechul tribe. Um, and then down here I have various rocks and stones um, that have different healing properties. I think for me, those have been really fun to sort of um, learn more about because um, I've always been drawn to rocks and stones, but I don't really know all of the meanings. But I thought, hell, if I get a good chunk of them, I'm sure it'll help something that I, <laughs> that I need. Um, let's see, down here, Dios Muertos. We have some Palo Santo. Ooh, there we go. Picture of my beautiful family, my grandma who watches over me every day. Love you, grandma. I have a little, where do you have it? Can't see very well. There we go, I think you could see it. That's um, a little charm from a curandero from Peru. And then I have, of course, I love, love, love the Black Madonna. I was so drawn to her. I actually got this on a, oh, when I was in Oakland with my friend Hannah and my beautiful friend Moya gave me this uh, rosary. I collect rosaries and oddly enough, when I moved to Washington, it was the only thing that didn't make it to Washington. I had some beautiful rosaries, it was such a bummer. It was so sad. Um, and then down here, um, let's see, we have, of course, some sage. We have some sweet grass, some more rocks and crystals there um and i love to i love boxes as well and then finally down here we have some books and not just books they're actually healing books there's some uh, crystal books uh some reiki books that have been really helpful but this is a book i just finished reading um let's see it's called they all want magic Curanderas and Folk Healing. Um, I really love this book because it is about the whole idea that, you know, we are more than just a physical body. And we're, you know, there is so much that we can do. Um, and so I've been inspired by that. And I have, of course, many other things that I have. I'll show you probably in another video because <laughs> I'm talking a whole lot today. Anyway, guys. Um, if you have any questions about any of the things I showed you or any questions or uh, if you have any stories of the things that really help you inspire you that you put in your room let me know um, I do like to know what other people have because maybe it will inspire me too um, anyway all right I love you a lot friends I'll see you next time bye